Okay, I want to talk about basically speaking the truth and not bowing to the social liberal agenda of political correctness. Because sadly, many professing Christians and the evangelical thing and just professing Christians in general, they have bowed to the politically correct, basically you can't say anything that's not politically correct. And this is what happens when a nation starts to go apostate. We're going to see from some of the scriptures that the nation of Israel was going apostate and they were basically rejecting the truth and, and basically they were not heeding to the truth. And the ones that were seeking the truth, you know, there's all kinds of problems going on. Basically, and when a nation goes apostate, they will not seek the truth, and they'll basically bow down to political correctness. Okay, Jeremiah chapter five, verse one. It says, "Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem, and see now and know, and seek in the broad places thereof, if ye can find a man, if there be any that executeth judgment, that seeketh the truth, and I will pardon him." Because what was going on was that Jeremiah, the nation of Israel, was becoming apostate, and Jeremiah was trying to give them the truth. And, you know, the whole Babylonian captivity, all this other stuff, America is becoming apostate, just like the nation of Israel was. Uh, Jeremiah 7, verse 28. 7, verse 28. But thou shalt, thou shalt say unto them, This is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord their God, nor receiveth correction. Truth is perish, and is cut off from their mouth. So they're becoming apostate, and truth is perishing. You know, they don't receive correction. A lot of these professing Christians are self-righteous Pharisees. They will not take correction, they will not receive correction. I've dealt with them personally. So, truth is perishing in these nations. America, that's definitely the case. They will not preach anything that is not polit politically correct. They will not condemn uh, the Roman Catholic Church. They will not speak out against radical Islam. They will not condemn the Sodomite agenda. They will not speak out against like feminism and all their garbage. And they won't. Some of them won't even speak out about, about atheism or communism, which are one and the same. Or just like how Nazism and communism are one and the same. Jeremiah chapter nine, verse three. Jeremiah nine, verse three. And they bend their tongues like their bow for, the, for, for lies, uh, but they are not a valiant for the truth up, upon the earth. For they proceed from evil to evil, and they know not me, saith the Lord. Again, apostasy. They're not heeding truth. truth. They're not valiant for the truth. You know, and I do apologize. I'm not good at reading on a computer. I have a physical copy, but I have to get used to reading smaller letters. But, you know, they're not heeding to the truth. They're falling apart. God's not blessing them. They're not hearkening to the truth that Jeremiah was, was giving them. Now, again, sad, sadly, many Christians have bowed down to the agenda of political correctness. And what does the Bible say about preaching the truth? 2 Timothy 2, or 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 2 to 4. Because as Christians, we're supposed to preach the truth regardless of what people think. We're supposed to uh, talk about the truth, talk about the Bible. I mean, if it became illegal here in Canada to talk about the Bible, oh well, I guess I'm going to jail then, because I would still do it. 2 Timothy 4, 2-4. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort, with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. Perfect description of, of Laodicean modern day politically correct professing Christianity. They are, they turn on the fables. Oh no, and the, the sodomites, they can get married, or, you know, or we're against sodomite marriage, but we support legal sodomy, or, you know, well, maybe abortion can, can be legal in, in cases of rape or incest, which, by the way, are very, very low. The abortion rates for rape and incest are very low. You know, or may, maybe we can kind of get rid of some of those tra tra traditional gender roles, or maybe we can have a little bit of socialism, or maybe, you know, maybe Islamic immigration isn't that bad, or, you know, maybe maybe the Hindus are all peaceful, whatever. It's, you know, they're not, they're, have, what, what does the word say? The verse say? Shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears? You know, these false prophets who come out, and basically will say, tell them what they want to hear, or some of these 501c3 government churches who will preach them what the government is okay with them preaching, you know, kind of like, like basically 
only preaching what the Republican Party or the Democrat Party is basically going on about. Um, they're turning away onto fables. They're not hearkening to the truth. Truth is perishing, like it says back in Jeremiah. So that's what happens when the Christians bow down to political correctness. It makes a nation fall apart. A nation becomes apostate, just like the nation of Israel. So don't don't bow down to this politically correct agenda, this social liberal, politically correct anti-God cult that it is. Uh, keep saying the truth, keep speaking the truth, and don't bow down. So, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.